This is a Christmas present from my wife. It is the Fly Wings Hornet. So I thought we'd go through, see what we've got, and then put it together. So the basics. One little wing. And I've got cutouts for some spars to go in there. Elevons to go on. Winglets. Uh, a motor mount. The three spars. This is some wooden cut pieces for the motor mount and the underside of the battery tray. And it's also got the hardware for the um, clevises and push rods there. This is the little under tray that will go under and hold the battery. This is a template for how you mount or where to mount the servos and the this is a cut you need to make in the wings. Instructions on building. Two five gram servos. An Emacs motor. Pretty much a, a basic 250 motor. Some 50-30 props. Emacs ESC. And my wife bought me the Mega Pack, which includes uh, a little FPV set. So in here is a 200 um, million VTX for each channel and a little camera. Probably not the best camera in the world, CMOS, but do for this. A quite handy little JST connector solder on. Connect it all up. And finally, a little 800 milliamp fierce lipo. And that's it. So I'm now going to put all this together and see if it flies. Let's hope so. Normally at this part in the wing build, I'd be expecting to glue together the two halves. Uh, this is actually a bit different. One of the first things we do is look at the instructions. You cut out um, one of the sections here using a template. Now one problem in the instructions here is there's a, a gap between the front here and where you actually start cutting. But there's no actual measurement here to say how much it should be. So um, I talked to uh, Neil, I peel, one of the guys that's built it before, he suggested uh, about 15 mil for the, the little free S setup. So we're gonna use this, cut this template and then uh, cut the wing out, or the, the section of the wing. So I've just put a bit of fiber tape here just to keep it together so I can cut a hole in uh, in this lovely new little wing. It's sad, but uh, let's do it with a try. Uh, well, I looked at 15 mil. The trouble was that it was going to smash into the spar that would be at the back. So, just to come up before the spar, I've gone with about 10 mil there, which is not much, but uh, it's a little bit at least. So let's cut. So here's the wing, having done a bit of the cutting and gluing. Um, you'll see I haven't got a very straight line here. It's all a bit skew whiffy. Uh, and I'm still a little bit stuck on the length for that. This actually turned out to be too far, so I've got a little bit of foam stuck back in to give that um, some strength. But we've got the, the skirt on, which seems to it's going to add some strength there. It's got the wood down the side, got the three spars in, and it's pretty stiff. No problems there. The um, elevons here I actually just put on with a bit of uh, Yoohoo Paw over here, and they are really good, really flexible, and they hold on really well. So the reason I'm stopping here is um, I need to sort out the electronics. I need to get the servos around the right way. Once that happens, we use another one of the templates. Like this, in order to work out where the servo is going to go. Uh, not printed both sides, but both sides. But um, I'll get the motor soldered to the ESC, make sure that runs around the right way get the servos so they're going the right directions and then we'll put the templates on and get the servos in and start uh, installing the electronics but you know it's not too much to do really light as well very small here's a quick run through of the finished article as I didn't take any more footage uh, obviously we've got the small cut here for the camera and just glued a bit of the foam back in 
that I painted up the skids black so it kind of matched up. Um, in there I've got the ESC and underneath I've got a DR4 2 receiver, uh, Free Sky one, which is obviously not included in the kit. So I've got one of the antennas there and the other one picking up. Uh, the two uh, servos installed, the VTX there, and the wiring reasonably hidden out of the way. I've just cut an extra little bit there so I can put my 800 meg milliamp battery in there and uh, it holds in pretty tightly. Yeah, you might notice it's a bit dirty hence this was done after the maiden. It's all that weight including the battery is 236 grams which is pretty damn light. And if you're in the US of course that's underneath the uh, legal limit for declaring it a flying machine. Let's see how the maiden went. A lovely day today, if a bit chilly, and here I am with the first chuck. I just don't do line of sight maidens now, straight to FPV for me. The Hornet just needs about 50% throttle and a very light chuck and it's away. Obviously there's no HD here, although technically you could add a Mobius or something. So the onboard stuff is all from the live camera. I first launched with a 50% dual rate, but it just wasn't enough, too sluggish. So I quickly switched to full rates. This is probably a little bit over responsive, so I might mess about and find a slightly better low rate if I need it. Although it's just as easy to go gentle on the sticks. I had the GoPro on the ground here, so you'll see a large amount of attempted flybys I'm afraid. It rolls nice and quickly, but I do notice that it tends to drop height fairly quickly when it's inverted. I also took it up a bit higher, but for me this wing wants to fly low, trying to skim the grass. I know these were designed and the basic idea is as a racing wing, and you can very easily get just to fly fast with a 4S setup and a bigger prop. But for me, I like the fact that you can very easily take this anywhere and fly in quite a restrictive space. I am looking forward to the inevitable amount of mid-airs we'll have with these at a Mad Dogs meet. Weak point of the setup I got with the complete kit is definitely the camera. Going through shadows and pointing towards the sun, the ground will seem very dark. It's actually playing back better than I remember in my goggles, but it's something I may swap out to something like a mini PZO420 or something similar, as it was stopping me flying in places by the trees on one side as I was really worried about hitting them. So after 14 minutes I landed, mainly because I didn't set an actual voice warning for 10 minutes. My cells were all on about 3.7 though, so it wasn't an issue. I had put a little bit of weight in the nose, in the form of some blue tack and a coin to balance out, but I tried taking these out for the second light bulb. The result was that it flew great, even though my CG is about 10 mil or so further back than what is suggested in the manual.
Once again here though, I'm afraid I flew lots of low circuits so the footage is hardly the most exciting. So our talking conclusion. Camera gripes aside, I love this little wing. It handles fantastically and despite its light weight I found it surprisingly stable in flight. So I'm really looking forward to going out and doing some more flying with it. Thanks for watching and with permitting, I'll be back soon. Bye for now.